Our objective in this lesson is to illustrate the following angle pairs. Congruent, complementary, supplementary, adjacent, vertical, and linear pair of angles. Let's have a quick review of our previous lesson. Classify the following angle figures according to measure. So this one is an obtuse angle. This is an acute angle. This one is is a reflex angle. This one is a complete angle. This one is a right angle, while this one is a straight angle. Let's have the first one, congruent angles. Angles are congruent when they have equal measures. The symbol for congruence is this. I have here two angles. Both of them measure 130 degrees. You will notice that the lengths of the rays are different. Obviously, the length of rays on this angle is longer than the length of rays on this angle. Also, the orientation of the angles may differ too. The different positions of the angle have no effect to their measures. For as long as the measures are equal, then they are congruent. In symbol, we can say that angle P is congruent to angle Q. We also have what we call angle bisector. Let us consider this angle. It measures 140 degrees. Then I will add a ray inside this angle that will divide 140 degrees into two equal measures. Each angle here now measures 70 degrees. This ray is called angle bisector. It is a ray in the interior of the angle that divides the angle into two congruent angles. Now we can say that angle MAT is congruent to angle TAH. The next pair is complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. Let's have an example. 63 plus 27 is equal to 90. Therefore, angle LOV and angle VOE are complementary angles. Another example, 40 plus 50 is equal to 90. Hence, angle M and angle N are complementary angles. Next pair is supplementary angles. Two angles are supplementary if the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. Here is an example. 130 plus 50 is equal to 180. Angle B and angle D are supplementary angles. Next pair is the adjacent angles. A pair of angles that have a common vertex and a common ray but do not overlap each other. Here is an example. Point O is the common vertex of angle HOP and angle POE. Ray OP is the common ray of angle HOP and angle POE. Angle HOP and angle POE are adjacent angles. They have a common vertex and a common ray and they do not overlap each other. Another pair is vertical angles. Angles opposite each other when two lines intersect. Let's have intersecting lines. And this is the point of intersection. This angle is opposite with this angle. Vertical angles are congruent. Therefore, angle FIA is congruent to angle TIH. This angle is also opposite with this angle. So, angle F. IT is congruent with angle AIH. There are four angles formed at the point of intersection. 1, 2, 3, 4. And the point of intersection is the common vertex of the four angles. Also, opposite angles form two pairs of opposite rays. Here's the first pair. Ray IF with ray I H. Another pair, ray I A with ray I T. They are opposite rays. The last pair is linear pair of angles. 
a pair of adjacent angles whose non-common sides form opposite rays. And these non-common sides form a straight line. Example, when I combine these two, they now share a common ray, ray OT, and a common vertex, point O. These are their non-common sides. And notice that these non-common sides form a straight line. Therefore, angle HOT and angle TOP form a linear pair. Let's have an activity, what am I? Identify each pair of angles as congruent, complementary, supplementary, adjacent, vertical, linear pair, or none of the choices. First one, they are vertical angles. And when they are vertical angles, we also say that they are congruent angles. The next one, 60 and 40, they are not adjacent because they do not have common side and they do not form a straight line. They are not complementary nor supplementary. Therefore, none of the choices. Next one, both angles measure 45 degrees, so they are congruent angles. And when you add 45 plus 45, that would be 90, so we can also say that they are complementary angles. On this figure, this angle measures 90 degrees. This one is also 90 degrees. Therefore, they are congruent angles. And when you add 90 plus 90, that would be 180, so they are also supplementary angles. And notice that they share a common ray and a common vertex. So we can also say that they are adjacent angles. And their non-common sides form a straight line or opposite rays. So we can also say that they form a linear pair. Actually, if you have supplementary adjacent angles, then you have a linear pair. Next set, this angle measures 90 and this one is 45 degrees. Not complementary, neither supplementary. They are not also adjacent because they do not share a common ray. So meaning, none of the choices. On this figure, they share a common ray. So they are adjacent angles. Nothing is mentioned about the measurement of their angles. Let us do extra challenge. Describe each pair of angles as vertical, complementary, supplementary, and adjacent. Number one, angle five and angle seven. They are vertical angles. Number two, angle 11 and angle 12. They share a common ray, so they are adjacent angles. Number three, angle three and angle four. They share a common side, so they are adjacent angles. This means the angle measures 90 degrees. If this is a straight line and this is 90 degrees, this is also 90 degrees. And 90 plus 90 is 180, so angle 3 and angle 4 are also supplementary angles. Next one, angle 10 and angle 13. So these two, they are vertical angles. Last one. Angle 7 and Angle 8. They share a common side, so they are adjacent angles. And their non-common sides form opposite rays or a straight line, so they are also supplementary angles. In summary, these are the angle pairs that we discuss. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. Identify the pairs of angles. Number one, angle R, L, E, and angle T, L, O. So this angle with this angle, they are vertical angles. Number two, angle L, O, T, and angle T, O, N. They share a common ray, so these are adjacent angles. Number three, Angle I, T, O, and angle L, O, T. So 60 and 30. 60 plus 30 
is equal to 90, so they are complementary angles. Number 4, angle N, O, T, and angle I, T, O. 120 plus 60 is 180, so they are supplementary angles. And for the last one, what is the measure of angle T, L, O? So this angle, since these two are vertical angles, therefore they are congruent, so angle T, L, O measures 45 degrees. Gets? Our next lesson is finding measures using angle pairs.